Welcome everybody. If you're new here, a special welcome to you too. Today we're just going to create a set with some regular uh, polishes. As we currently have load shedding here by us. But we're not going to let this hold us back. And even if the polish have to air dry in between, we'll just do some home chores in between to get the time to pause. But we're not going to let that hold us back. And let's see what we can come up with. I'm just applying the first layer of the grey. And then we will apply a second layer once the first layer is dry. I don't have a lot of light where I'm working currently. Because today is one of those bad days where we have no electricity for four and a half hours ongoing. I'm sure every other country's got their struggles currently and we just have to deal with what we've got at the moment. But just sit back and relax and enjoy and we'll see what we can come up with. I'll check in with you from time to time. Now that the nails are dry, I would like to do a small ombre just on the tip of the nail. I'm applying the two colors onto a piece of foil. Then we're going to use a small sponge and just dab it on the nail. I'm using a little bit of gray at the top just to make sure that I blend the two colors while they're still a bit wet. Then I'm just lightly dabbing it on. The sponge is absorbing a lot of the polish. So I'm just keep on adding a bit more onto the foil. At times the sponge is causing a little bit of fluff that are going onto the nail but next to me I've got a piece of solid tape where I just dab the sponge onto just to get rid of the fluffs. And while dabbing, the sponge is causing um, a little bit of a rough look to the nail while the polish is still wet. But that's not too much of a concern. Because once we add the top coat to it, it will become clear again. You can also use the back of a nail form that's got a sticky layer to dab your sponge on to get rid of the fluff so it doesn't go onto the nail. I 
I'm now just going to add a top coat. It's a regular top coat just to smooth out the surface. And once it's dry, we're going to add some chrome powder to the nail. You can see how the clear top coat is clearing out all the imperfections. We're going to add this pretty crown powder. It's got a bit, it's white, but it's got a bit of blue and green in it. It's very fine. Then when we're going to use an eyeshadow applicator. Or sometimes it's best just to use your finger to rub it in onto the top coat after it's dry. So you'll wrap it onto a smooth surface. Although I don't have the proper light here, I hope you can see the effect it's giving. If you use the finger sometimes it's much easier. It applies very nicely. I'm just going to use my curing torch to show you the effect. Just to say, just so you can have a better look at it. And this is the outcome after we've applied the crown powder to the nails. 
before we're gonna top coat we're just gonna add some nice stickers to it just to complete the design Sometimes less is more, we don't want to overdo it with the stickers. And I think wanna, we're just going to add a little tiny flower also. And once we're happy, we're just going to top coat and seal in the design and let it air dry. And once the power comes on again, I'm just going to seal it with a no wipe top coat and then cure it in the lamp just to make sure that it's all sealed in properly and finish off the design.
and this is our finished design let me know your thoughts I hope you like it thank you for joining and spending the time with me yet again keep well be bold and be blessed and I'll see you in the next one bye bye